The Pimm's Cup, the actual cocktail, is something that uh, originated in London in the 1840s. And it really was looked upon as kind of like a health drink. You know, it had a digestive, it had fruit in it, it had herbs in it. Uh, it wasn't until it really made it to New Orleans after that. Uh, and then it became the drink to have at Wimbledon. And Wimbledon, I think they had created a special bar for it in 1971 where they would just serve things by the pitcher of this. So basically the Pims is to Wimbledon what the, julep, the mint julep is to the Kentucky Derby. So we've already made the Pims infusion. So what I did is I recreated the actual Pims liqueur that goes into the Pims cup. So there's a video that we made already. It's a very simple infusion using four ingredients. I use gin and vermouth and Grand Marnier. And I've got that right here. So this is going to be the base for the cocktail today. And the original cocktail of a Pim's cup was basically using Pim's number one, which is what I've worked to recreate. Pim's number one is basically a liqueur, gin based aperitif with spices and vermouth. And it had ginger ale, and lemon juice and cucumber. But what I noticed is there were more garnishes on top of it than of things that looked great than things that should have been in it. So there was like the strawberry garnish on top, then they put the cucumbers through it, then they had little cherries sometimes. And I was like, what happens if we just take those things and actually instill them and put them into the, to the PIMS? So the PIMS infusion has popcorn, celery, strawberries, and then this amazing wild um, purple sage. But a PIMS is one of those things you can do anything with it. And now, and a typical PIMS that I would start making would have like cucumber and mint, and then I would use some kind of ginger. So we're gonna do a variation of that. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a few slices of cucumber. This is an English cucumber. They're usually about, about an eighth of an inch thick, and I'll put three of them in there. And listen, typically you would use mint, and I love using shiso, but guess what? I don't have that today. And I can't instill enough to you how when you have these basic formulas down, use what you can, use things that are interesting. I'm actually gonna use carrot tops today as my mint. So what I, the reason why I can make a choice like this is there's so much flavor in this Pims. I've got strawberries in there, I've got celery in there, I've got popcorn, I've got sage. So there's a great amount of sweetness that I can have a little bit, you know, give myself some permission to use something savory. So we're gonna put in a nice little bunch of these carrot tops here, okay? So we'll put those in there. And then we are gonna do three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice. And then because the Pims is already sweet, so it's got gin, sweet vermouth, and Grand Marnier, we're actually gonna cut back on the sweetness and I'm gonna put a half an ounce of my agave syrup. This is an agave syrup, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. And I also have a video on how to make that as well on here. But we're gonna do a half ounce of that. And then we're gonna do, again, um, I want that ginger element. I think that's a key component of the Pims cup, the actual cocktail. And so I'm gonna use fresh ginger juice. I'm not a fan of using syrups or making syrups because sugar kind of breaks down those flavors and that they're not consistent over time. So I'd rather just use really fresh ginger juice. You can get this at a health food store, have Whole Foods to do it if you don't have a juicer. And because this is so potent, we're just gonna put about an eighth of an ounce in there. And then we'll muddle that up. I'm gonna use my great OXO muddler with the teeth on it. Give that a really good muddle. And then we're gonna do two ounces of the actual PIMS. So we'll put that in there. Beautiful. You can see the color is just absolutely gorgeous from those strawberries. And then let's get a nice cup for it. I'm gonna use this double old fashioned. I'm gonna put together a nice ice cube here, a big ice cube. Uh, this is a two by two ice cube. I can actually buy these. You guys could just get the little silicone trays or they actually make these in singles as well. It's a really perfect cube for that. This is a really refreshing drink. It's a perfect summer drink. It's a perfect thing to have by the pool. Um, let's put a little bit of ice in here to shake it up. 
And then this is a drink that I'm going to uh, double strain, so I'm going to use the tea strainer and double strain this. There's a lot of things in here. I've got the carrot tops, I've got the cucumber, the cucumber seeds. I've got possibly little pieces left over from the Pim's infusion, so I really want to double strain this and just have that pure color come through. Perfect. Okay, so I mean you could use a mint sprig with this, um, you know, if I was using mint or the shiso, and you know, typically you'd, you know, I use the carrot tops in here, so you, but I don't really feel like that's pretty enough. So um, I made the Pim's infusion, the actual liqueur, with popcorn and celery and strawberries, and I actually, actually layered these beautiful pieces of um, purple sage. This is wild purple sage. Uh, here's a good one. So what I want to do is, why don't we use this as the garnish and give that a little snip there. I can push that down and just slip that right in. And what's great is we've got that, and that cube is right there, it becomes a nice little kind of launching pad for other garnishes and things. So you can get that float up. This is some meadow sorrel. You can get this. If you don't have meadow sorrel, you can use whatever you want. That's kind of pretty. And then just to kind of have a little bit of flavor, it doesn't have to be something that's really burning. Just this is dried out nicely. So I'm going to give it a little. Get a little bit on fire there just to create a little bit of smoke and flavor. Let's give that a sip. Mm. Wow. It's the first time that I've used celery and it's absolutely fantastic. It's so refreshing and you've got all those balance of notes. And here's the deal. This is actually something that has a good amount of sweetness on its own. It actually could make a really fantastic kind of infusion. So, so a lot of times these infusions that I make, they're not good on their own, but some of them are fantastic on their own. This is, a, this is definitely one of those moments where I think you could just take the Pim's infusion here and just put it over a nice big cube or regular ice if you have regular ice. And maybe you put a little lemon in there, a little lemon squeeze. We'll take, let's take a nice carrot, carrot, orange here and give a nice slice to that. But you could use any kind of orange, any kind of lemon. Just give that a nice little squeeze. And now you've got basically a Pim's cup, which is my Pim's um, with cucumber, carrot tops, lime, agave with a little bit of ginger juice. And then we also, like I said, it's so good on its own and has a good amount of sweetness and flavor that it's definitely something that you could pour on the rock or rocks if you just don't have a big cube. I garnish it here with a carrot carrot. And it's really for people who want something that's more spirited, something to sip on. It's very similar to an old fashioned, almost like this is really like having a gin Manhattan. So um, enjoy, be creative with everything, use whatever you like, and I really look forward to hearing how, how you like it. So enjoy. So.